It's 9 a.m. in New York City's Javits Center, where a crop of high school students is raring to get started. Their assigned cars, on the other hand, not so much. Working in pairs, these students will have three hours to try to resuscitate and fix their car in the finale of this year's National Automotive Technology Competition. Okay, three, two, one. Gentlemen, try and start your engines. Right now we're dealing with vehicles that have a, a series of different problems. They have uh, repair orders that the students have to interpret, then they have to go ahead and use factory um, tools and equipment to diagnose multiple problems inside the vehicle, as well as um, just random things that they would find during a pre-delivery inspection at a dealership if they were dealership employees. John's students, Stephen and Eric, and the rest of their competitors will be judged on how well they can pinpoint and fix all the bugs that were specially programmed into the car. It's a challenge that these aspiring future automotive employees have been working toward for quite some time. In order to reach these nationals, participants had to qualify on a regional level first, as well as putting in a ton of training, practice, and class time. Reaching this point has been a tireless effort. I mean, we work around the clock, whether it's in the evenings, anytime we can get a chance during the weekends. We have to pull resources from a multitude of sources in order to really get everything that they have at this competition. So they have to know alignment angles and all sorts of other things about the vehicle. They actually had a, to do an interview process one-on-one -on -one with each student, um, and they had to bring portfolios, resumes, and all that good stuff. So these are life skills that they're actually putting to use in this competition that are gonna help them later find employment and do well in their careers. Competition winners get scholarship money, tools, and more, relying only on their own knowledge in a race against the clock. James Sherman, a field service engineer for Mercedes-Benz, supervised at Stephen and Eric's station. Most of them, other than maybe working at a dealer to prepare for this competition, they've never worked in a dealership environment. It's strictly been school environment. For the most part, unless you see a student diving into an area of the vehicle where you think they're going to damage the car, then you have to intervene. Otherwise, you basically have to let them go. Or if they're going out in left field, you sort of have to let them go out in left field and flounder a little bit. And it's all part of the learning process. When all is said and done, though, this team from Anaheim, California felt optimistic. We got the car running. We got uh, the major parts. So I think we did pretty good. The reason why I took part of this competition was because um, there's a lot of great opportunities for me and help, to help pursue my career in auto technology. I also love working with cars. My ideal job would be um, in hopefully working in a dealership as an automotive technician. Uh, just working on customers' cars would be pretty good for me. I took part in this competition because my love for automobiles is more than just school. It's, it's my life, really. It was fun, a lot of work, a lot of pressure, and it was very stressful, but at the same time, we had fun while doing it. The three hours flew by very quick. Great job for all the teams. We need everybody to step back from the cars, close the hoods, and once you're...